Hello everyone, welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausa Tripathi, your instructor and today we are going to talk about uh, sorting of contours. So earlier in the, uh, in the previous video we have talked about the contours, how we can find contours, how we can draw those contours. Okay, now today we are going to talk about how we can sort them out like from which is the biggest contour, which is the smallest contour or if we sometimes we do need a like the we need we want to know the what's the biggest contour around us and we want to separate it so in those cases uh, we sort it out with the help of this sorting of the contours method okay so let's get on to a spider ID and see how we how we are going to do all of this okay so if we want to uh, we want to work with the contours let's first create some kind of a shapes to work with so I've created this small program in which I've created, used rectangle method and circle and ellipse method to create the shapes that looks like this okay so this is the image that I've just created so we are going to work on this image and find the contours okay and then sort them up so let's close it and let's go to our program now this is the normal program uh, in this in this program if you see I've wrote uh, cv2 dot write it on the shape start jpg with the name of shape start jpg I've saved this image into my computer so I'm going to use the same image shape start jpg over here you see here shape start jpg and I'm going to convert it into a grayscale image. It is mostly a grayscale image, but it's a good practice to keep it simple because sometimes you use a colorful image. And when you're applying thresholding or you know finding God to us, then it is a good practice to keep it in a grayscale mode. Now I have converted into a grayscale, then I've applied a threshold, a little bit of a threshold to clear out the you know the noise from the image. So I've given it 70 comma 255 as a threshold indexes and then this is just I just sh I am sure the image no need of it just put it a comment and then I uh, use the find contour method like I've told you in my previous video how to find the contours I have you uh, in this I have gave the image as a source image what I have got from here and then I use the cv2 dot retr retrieval tree method so that I need all of I, it needs to retrieve all the contours inside of it then I use the approximation as a none, approximation method as none. Because I can use simple also, there is no point of it because it's just a formality right now. We don't need it right now in this program. Okay, there is no use of it. So we, either we put in none or simple. I have already explained it in the, my previous video what, what is the use of approx none and approx simple. So you can go into that video and check it out if you want to watch that. Then uh, I've used this sorted method of Python to sort out the um, all those contours that I found out that list and uh, the key part over here is you know whenever we do a sorting we get uh, give it some kind of a reference like in which way you want to sort it you want to sort it with the help of our shapes with the help of a size with the help of the weight how you want to sort it out now here we are sorting out with the help of the area that is covering by that shape so to find the area of a contour we use this contour area method and that's what we have given here is a, as a key key is equals to cv2 dot contour area and we have also given contours as the you know list that we want to sort do the sorting on and reverse is equal to true and there's this little bit of a slicing over here now reverse is equal to true means uh, when we put a reverse is equal to true that means we are applying the reverse that means we are going descending from bigger to smaller. If I do a reverse is equal to false over here, that means I'm going talking about ascending order. Means from first we will talk about smaller, and then at the end we will talk about the biggest one. Okay. And there's this slicing that I will explain what slicing is later on. And then I just uh, let me sh let me run this whole program to you know then you can get a better idea of what we are doing over here. Okay, so I'm gonna run this whole program over here and you see I've got this contour over here with the blue color covered and it is it inside of it says number one written and if I press it it says number two if I press it it says number three means at first it finds out the biggest contour then the second biggest then the third biggest which is ultimately the smallest contour okay and it numbered them down like one two three now this was the way of finding sorting the contours now let's go come back to our program over here so 
I will use this for loop over here for i comma c and t in enumerate sorted contours. So what I am doing over here is I just that list sorted contours. It's a list of the contours in the sorted method. I enumerate through them. Now enumerate method what it does is basically it ex uh, it uses two variables. One is the c and t which is accepting the contours whichever the contour it is taking from here, and i is the indexing like i gets increased each time when c and t takes a con uh, takes a one of the contour in its variable okay so i will show you uh, later i will have a use of i that's why i was using i otherwise i would have directly used for i in sorted contours or for c and t in sorted contours but i need a indexing over here that's why i use enumerate method and i over here now this is a simple method to find the you know cv2 dot moment method to find the center of the that contour over there now if you see the image over here i was printing one two or three at the center of the image basically so to print this i need to find the center of that contour so that's what this method was doing it is finding the center of that contour it is a predefined method okay you need to just learn them how we find the center then uh i had cv i use a cv2 dot Wait a minute. Let me reduce its size. Yeah, I use the cv2 dot draw contours method in which, like in the previous video I've explained, I gave it the original image, the image in which I'm going to find the contours in, and I gave it the c and t, the you know the contours which is being accepted over here one by one, and minus one means I need all the contours, but actually. We are taking each contour uh, every time. We are taking only one contour, so you know there is no point of it saying all when there is only one is there. Then I've given the color index through which which uh, color will be, you know, be used to con uh, draw that contour. And the three is the thickness over there. And then I use the cv2 dot put text method to print that number over there. You know, one, two, three. If you have seen the image, uh, wait a minute. This image over here. So I use this uh, method over here one two three. So to print these one two three, I have applied this cv2 dot put text and this I gave the original image and the you know string one plus i plus one. Now that's why I was using i so that I can put a number over there. Now earlier I was zero so I used i plus one to make it a one and str means converting into a string. Because it accepts a string over here, then cx comma cy. Now these both are x and the y coordinates over here. In this part, cx and cy are the y coordinates, and that's what I gave it over here. Then I gave it the font uh, font type that is font Hershey simplex. I gave it the size of the font, and then I gave it this uh, color over here by which color we are going to print it out, and the thickness of the font. Now this is it over here, and then I did the CVG. I am sure to show that image and weight key and all that you know. Okay, so this was uh, oh, we haven't talked about this slicing, right? So let's right now I'm going to remove the slicing over here, and now if I run this program, let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute, first let me close this. Okay, now if I run this whole code. You see, I got the one over here, and it is not. Uh, there is no contour over any shape, but I, there is a one percent over here. Now you see, there is a one big shape, one big contour around the whole window. Okay. Now to avoid this contour, because we are using a white background, and sometimes in the white background, it uh, most not sometimes mostly every time, and the white contour it's a white. Background it accepts it as a contour and draw the shape around it, but we don't need it. Okay, so that's why I did the slicing. As right now we are going, uh, I have put a reverse is equal to true over here. That means it is uh, going from descending order from big to small, and this is the biggest contour that big window. So to remove this thing, uh, we applied the slicing method because we want to say. I don't want that first one. If we are talking about descending order, then I do want the first, uh, that first contour. I want to start from the second contour. 
So that's why I did the slicing there. I don't want the first contour which is at the zeroth index and I want up to the last means up to the smallest one. I want to ignore the first one. That's what now if I run it, now I see it accepts is this ellipse as a first contour and circle as a second contour and square as a third contour. Okay. So this was it. If I do a false over here in reverse. If I do a false over here, that means I don't want the last contour because now it is going ascending order, means from small to large. So I don't want the last contour, so I will remove this and I'll put a 3 over here because there are I don't want only 3 contours, 0, 1, and 2. I don't want the third contour, right? So if I run this program, there's a square, then there's a circle, then the ellipse, and then that's it. No fourth contour. Okay. So this is all about sorting contours. Now with the help of this, you can find the, you know, if there are like lots of shapes around you and you want to find the, you know, second biggest or you want to find the biggest shape around there. With the help of this concept, you can find the biggest shape in the, you know, in the, that complete big design. Suppose when in like, uh, suppose you want to talk about e-commerce industry, you got a, some kind of a clothes design. And you want to clothes of that design only. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the biggest design in that cloth, and you're gonna run it with all of your products to find that matching shape. Okay, so that's where these kinds of concepts apply. Even the this matching concept I will explain in my next video how we match this uh, we match one shape with the help uh, in our all those images. Doesn't matter if it looks similar or not, but that's how we are going to do it. Okay. So this is all in the contours and sorting of the contours. See you in the next video.